Pitsom Simane's agent has said something that will send shivers down your spine. Well, that depends. Do you want Pitsu to come to Ikeza Chiefs or do you not? Because if you do, then what he said might be a punch in your stomach. Because the agent has basically said that the coach, meaning Pitsom Simane, comes to a club with his own technical team and the club cannot just buy players without the coach. Now there are two ways of looking at this because there are people who are a glass full type of a thing or glass empty type of a thing. So now, if you are a hopeful person, you will say, wait a second, Kaiser Chiefs did not sign any players in January, which might basically mean that they are planning to bring Upito in the June transfer window. And that basically means everything that has been done, not signing anyone, just chilling like nothing is wrong, is because they are preparing for Pizzo Simon. That's how the hopefuls think. Number two, the hopefuls also think Pizzo Simon has signed a short-term contract, which is like four months. And that basically means he will be back by June, and then that means he can come to case achieves. And you think to yourself, yeah, that sounds good. But if you're a realist, then you're thinking to yourself, huh? Kaiser Chiefs, in all of their history, in how we viewed them, we've seen them basically signing players, then appointing the coach. It's been the thing that we have seen over and over and over again. And you are looking at Chiefs right now and you're thinking, why would they change their method? And someone in the comment section is ready to say, you are wasting your time. This is family business. Exactly. That's what Pobim Taung said, and it doesn't seem like they, be, they would be wanting to change the ways, their ways right now. But if you're hopeful again, you're thinking to yourself, surely after eight years of not winning anything, they should start feeling like, you know what, we've been doing this thing and it hasn't worked. We might not change the management, but we might change the way that we manage the team, which is, let's for once, let's just for once say, Let's give the coach his technical team, but also give the coach all the players that he wants. Is it practical? The answer is yes and no. Practical yes, because one, the people who came in with Zwane are on their final year of the contract come June this year, right? Which means they won't, it won't be much of a hassle to basically pay them out and let them go and allow the new coach to bring on his own technical team. But on the other hand, again, you're thinking to yourself, if we bring in Pizzo Msimane with his own players, with his own technical team, let's just start with his own technical team. The problem that we might encounter is the fact that as it happens in football, any transfer is a risk, right? So you bring on Pizzo Msimane, he comes with his technical team, we sign them for three years. So his whole technical team has three years. So we sign them for that long and then they don't do well, right? Because even besides the fact that they have all these, let's say like they just get five, six signings. They get all of those signings and they still don't do well. Now, if we want to fire Pete, so that means we must also release everyone else from their contract. And basically now you have a problem of, wait a minute, where are we going to get the money to say we are firing Pizzo and releasing him and his entire technical team? You see, from a business standpoint, it then doesn't make sense to bring in Pizzo. But someone else would say, no, Pilo, we could come up with a compromise, you know. We could say, Pizzo, we're giving you five, six new players that you want. We are also giving you your whole technical team. But since this is a risky thing and we're businessmen, we both understand what's going on here. We're going to give you an 18 months contract, a year and a half. And then after giving you that contract that is that long, we will be able, we will have an option to extend your contract. And in that way, we give you an 18 months contract, you perform well in the first season, you are left with six months to go, beginning of the other season, then we just extend your contract by a further three years. Once again, that does seem to me like it's a win-win because Chiefs still get to kind of minimize the risk by not signing people on a long-term contract. At the same time, Pizzo still gets to get his own technical team and he can prove himself. Someone will say, but what if he doesn't prove himself within a year. Obviously, proving yourself can mean different things to different people. For starters, proving yourself to some people could, could mean win the league in the first year, right? That's what proving yourself could mean. Someone else would say, in six months, you could just prove yourself. 
Look at, at, at Orlando Pirates, what they did. Their new coach came in, won the MTN8 and won the, the Carling Knockout Cup. So he already won two things in six months. That's proving yourself. But proving yourself could also mean something different. Like how Klopp proved himself at Liverpool. He came in and within those six months, they were starting to play a clear style of play. A positive style of play. And in that way, you can say, huh. We all see what's going on. The problem that we are always going to have is the fact that for every pizza yeseya who's saying bring pizza, there is also a pizza naysaya. So if pizza comes in, he doesn't win the cup in six months, even though we would have played two cups. But let's just say he's sitting third on the league. We average a ball position of 60%. We are creating more chances than any other team. People will still say, He's not done very well. So, I pose a question to you, which is, what is actually proving yourself? What does it mean to you? Let's say even if it's not Pito, but in this case, it is Pito. He comes into his Chiefs, the style of football is clear. There's a clear change. The Chiefs is playing well. His Chiefs is playing positive. Does not winning a cup in those first six months as a coach qualify or is it seen as failing to do something? Or are you saying if you are coming to Chiefs, whether you are Pitom Simane, whether you are, Naz whether you are Nazratin Nabi, the only way to prove yourself is winning something? That's the question that I pose to you. Because we are a divided fan base, and at some point, we all need to come and say, okay, we might not fully agree, but at the very least, let's say this is the criteria. Maybe because winning football matches, if it's not sustainable, we've seen it with Johnson, we saw it in Segi, it doesn't really get you that far. But if there is a clear style of play, me personally, I think even if a coach comes in, six months down the line, he's playing good enough football, I would say, okay, he has proven himself, then you can extend his contract. But if there's no clear style of play, if we're fearing teams, then that becomes problematic. But once again, people will say, you can say whatever you want. If you add six top quality players to this case Chiefs team and you don't win anything, that's still, that is still regarded as failing. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you've been watching and you have not subscribed to this point, what is your problem? <laughs> I mean, please do subscribe to the video, to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals al pelomo. Pizza Musimane is artist. If you make up artist when you need them, what did the man say? He said that, I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman, so let's stop saying that. But it could be good news because whatever happened now? Oh my God. Hambo Tata E. Oh, we can't do it with this one. It's 20%. I'll do a one take. Okay, let's go.